what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a video about some phrases you might have heard them and you thought they were cute and you know you love the bitch and you're like oh no that's okay no it's toxic it's toxic so if you heard some of those sentences maybe it's time for you to run because maybe abuse is around the corner uh, mental abuse, maybe physical abuse, or maybe financial, because the bitch is here for your money. So maybe if you have those, it's time to walk away. Number one, I can't live without you. I know it might sound cute, but it's not. The translation of this is, if you leave me, I'll kill myself. I mean, I know I maybe I went OD with the translation, but it's part of it. I am telling you, and she's planting a seed in your head that uh, if you leave her, something bad might happen. Something. I'm not saying the bitch is going to go all the way and kill herself, but she's making you feel guilty. If you leave, her life is going to be over in some way, you know? That's how manipulation starts. I am telling you, it might sound cute. Cute, you know, she can't get enough of you. She, she wants you forever. Yeah, it sounds cute but it's actually a little sign of crazy. I'm not telling you that she's really trying to manipulate you. Not everybody is a manipulator, you know, but she might really like you and she might really think, yeah, I'm gonna be with you forever so I can't be without you. Yeah, sure, but still. It's nice to hear and feel accepted and loved, but there is some limits. Because if she means it literally, it might be a little dangerous. You know, when you start seeing that you can hang out with your friends. You can hang out without her. You can't really be yourself. She will always be in your space and take all your time. So she's trying to cut you off from the outside world, from your friends, from your family and all, just so you only have her. This is very manipulative, toxic, and unhealthy. And now you're scared that she's gonna kill herself, so now you can't leave. You gotta be very careful in those type of situations because you have to live your life for yourself. And if it's not working out for you, do not allow these people to make you stay in situations that are not good for you. Never stay just because somebody is threatening you to hurt themselves. No. She's relying on you to be her everything and that is very unhealthy. She needs to get some help. It's not love at this point, it's obsession. Number two, you're the best dick I've ever had. <laughs> She's probably lying but um i want to talk to you about joy mode yes i want to talk to you about joy mode because this is the pre-workout for sex i don't know if you've tried those pills that you see at the gas station i hope you never try them because the type of erections they might give you might send you to the hospital you might have side effects and all you don't want that so that's why joy mode is here to say that day it is natural a hundred percent natural so this is the sexual performance booster yes so whether you're happy or unhappy with your performance why not get better yeah joy mode was created because what's on the market is super trash and dangerous so oops, see it's jumping out this is designed to support erection quality firmness and sex drive yes so um, and maybe she might tell you you're the best I've ever had if you use joy mode shit. But uh, how you use it is really easy. You open it. There's a little package. You pour it in six to eight ounces of water. And you make sure you drink it 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform. Okay? Yes. And then you go. And you become big. And you become strong. And you last long. If you want to spice things up in the bedroom, I highly recommend Joy Mode. So what you do, go to usejoymode.com slash Melly or you type Melly at checkout. And what you get? 20% off. 20%. I would try it. Try it. Go. Number three, if you ever heard, if I can't have you, nobody will. <laughs> I don't know why you, you're still here. You're not uh, out the door yet. This is psycho psycho behavior you need to go as soon as possible because she loves you that much <laughs> that she's willing to kill you she's not gonna kill herself because no she gotta stay alive she's gonna kill you so nobody can have you or she would just ruin any other relationship that you might have you know if she sees a bitch uh you know she's the type of bitch that's gonna be outside your door and she sees that you got a new bitch in the house now it's a fucking problem 
yes that that's how it's gonna happen and we don't know what she's gonna try to do you know send emails blackmail all type of shit you don't want that you need to run i mean it might be too late already but run i know a lot of men who are attracted to toxic and crazy girl until you die then um, <laughs> i think then you're not gonna like it no more yeah so when you guys are arguing if it becomes very intense and that the type of shit she says it's not a joke it's not Take it very seriously and leave her. Leave her the first time she says that shit. Trust me, it's not cute. It's actually dangerous. Is she gonna kill you? Is she gonna kill your next girlfriend? Like, no. Is she gonna raise hell in your life? You don't want that. It's a very unhealthy obsession and I watch Dateline all the time. And I see the crime of passion, jealousy, all that shit. They lose their mind, they kill their spouse. You don't wanna be one of those, no. I don't want to see you on dateline this is life threatening it's not love love is sharing and caring so that that's not it number three nobody will love you like i do this is the one that hit me a guy told me that and uh you know you start wondering maybe maybe uh, uh that's the best i can do when they're actually not treating you right but you start wondering you start uh self-doubting and you're like, wait, he does love me good in a way. And he does do some good stuff. I, I don't No, You can find somebody better. If that situation is not right for you, you can find somebody better. Do not let that person manipulate you one more time to think that, you know, they're the only person for you. There is so many people on earth that you can connect with and be compatible with. So if you're not happy in a relationship and those people are telling you that type of shit, don't take it. It's not true. You can find better. Number four, I don't want to share you with anyone. I'm not talking about cheating and you having different girlfriends or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. But the fact that her whole life is wrapped around you. You're the only person she sees. She don't want you to go enjoy nobody, your friends, your family, your kids. I don't know. Yeah, that's a bad look. The fact that she's so depending on you is very bad she needs to have her own life and you need to make sure that your bitch has her own life and that you're not everything to her it sounds like she can't be happy if you're not around you can't you can't have that that's too needy everybody has to provide for their own happiness and then if they find somebody else we can all be happy together but you need to be happy on your own number five if you leave me i will die god oh my god okay she's not gonna die of a broken heart she's not so you're safe you can leave her if you need to leave her but i'm telling you i know those again sound cute you know when it's not said in an argument but those are kind of like red flags i would never say that <laughs> to a guy if you leave me i'll die what no i'm i'll move on you know <laughs> that's just how it is so i know all of these sound cute but it's toxic. This is again very abusive, very manipulative. And it's not that I'm downplaying that people actually sometimes commit suicide or do some craziness. I just wish they were stronger emotionally and that they didn't take that route. But you cannot just stay stuck with someone just because you're scared they're gonna hurt themselves. You can't. It is not your job to make sure that somebody don't do anything stupid. It's not. Obviously you can try to help them, find them help, outside of you but you should never feel guilty or obligated to stay with somebody that is telling you those type of things and number six if you really love me you would do that 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 yes you know my sound cute you know she might play around well if you really love me you'll buy me this purse if you really love me you do my homework if you really love me uh you would go and rob the bank you know all of this again it's manipulation using your feelings and how you feel for her to make you do something that you don't really want to do this is manipulation she's just trying to get what she wants at all cost again not cute very toxic you should get the fuck out all right those were some phrases again if you heard them i would suggest you to run because it's not cute one more time it's toxic and dangerous and healthy you need to go. 
All right, so hopefully you can like, share, comment. You can uh, subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also come with me on a trip to Costa Rica. It's uh, in November. The link is in the description of this video if you want to come and check it out. We will have a lot of fun. You can also follow me on Instagram, all the Instagram, Melly Monaco, Melly Love XO, Melly Motors, all the YouTube channels, please and thank you. All right. I appreciate you and I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't let those bitches lay you like I tell you all the time and I will talk to you soon, soon.